हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड शार्पनिंग ऑफ स्पेशियल फिल्टर्स द प्रिंसिपल ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ शार्पनिंग इज टू हाईलाइट द फाइनाइट डिटेल्स इन एन इमेज और टू एनहांस द डिटेल दैट हैज बीन ब्लर्ड आइदर इन एरर or as a natural effect of particular method of image acquisition so the basic objective is to highlight the details in an image or to enhance the detail that has been blurred it has wide variety of applications including electronic printing medical imaging industrial inspections and autonomous guidance in military systems in the previous topic we understood that the image blurring can be accomplished in a spatial domain using pixel averaging since blurring can be done using integration so sharpening can be accomplished or can be obtained by spatial differentiation hence image differentiation enhances the edges and noise and d emphasizes the areas with slowly varying gray level values so this is the advantage of image differentiation now let us see the basic foundation of image sharpening in this discussion we can consider some details of sharpening filters that are based on first order and second order derivatives first let us consider the fundamental properties of derivatives derivatives of a digital function are defined in terms of differences there are various ways of defining differences the definition used for first derivative must be zero in flat segments must be non zero at onset of an gray level step or ramp must be non zero along the ramp so this we will understand when we consider the example for time being remember these properties for first order derivative similarly we can define for second order derivative it must be zero in flat areas this is the property of second order derivatives must be non zero at onset and end of the gray level step or ramp and must be zero along the ramp of constant slope so remember these properties we will take an example where you will understand what is a ramp what is the flat segment since we are dealing in a digital quantities whose values are finite the maximum possible gray level change also is finite and the shortest distance over which the change can occur is between the adjacent pixel if you consider an image with different pixels the shortest distance where the gray level change can occur is between the adjacent pixels now let us see the basic definition of first order and second order derivative the first order derivative of one dimensional function f of x can be given as delta f divided by delta x is equal to f of x plus 1 minus f of x and the second order derivative can be given as delta square f divided by delta x square is equal to f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus 2 f of x for example if we consider this pixel as f of x the next pixel value will be f of x plus 1 the previous pixel value before this pixel is f of x minus 1 so we can use these values in this definition and we can define the first order derivative and second order derivative so f of x plus 1 minus f of x so this value minus this value will give first order derivative in the second order derivative f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus 2f of x so using these three values we can define second order derivative these two are the definitions that satisfies the conditions of first order and second order derivatives now let us consider an example to understand this 
To highlight the fundamental similarities and differences between first and second order derivative, let us consider an example. Here figure A shows a simple image, figure B is the one dimensional horizontal gray level profile along the center of the image. So, in the center of the image if you take a horizontal line, on this horizontal line we will have different pixel values. So, this profile specifies these pixel values which is a one dimensional horizontal profile. Figure C is the simplified profile of figure B. Here we are having a image strip, this image strip is having different values, those values are the pixel values along this line. So, you can see there are different pixel values. So, according to those pixel values we have written the gray level the profile and we got this simplified profile. Now, let us find the values for first order derivative and second order derivative. The first order derivative defines that f of x plus 1 minus f of x. So, if you consider this value this is f of x and this is f of x plus 1. So, from the definition it is 4 minus 5 it is minus 1. In the same way we can find for other values also 3 minus 4 it is minus 1, 2 minus 3 it is minus 1, 1 minus 2 it is again minus 1. Likewise 0 minus 6 it is minus 6, 1 minus 3 it is minus 2. Likewise we can find the values for first order derivative. To find the values for second order derivative, so we can use the definition as f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus 2 f of x. So, if we consider this as f of x, this will be f of x plus 1, this will be f of x minus 1. So, f of x plus 1 plus f of x minus 1 minus 2 f of x. So, it is 4 plus 5 it is 9 minus 2 times 5 it is 10, 9 minus 10 it is minus 1. So, in the same way 3 plus 5 minus 8 it is 0. In the same way 2 plus 4 which is 6 minus 6 it will be 0. Likewise, you can find different values for second order derivative. So, you can take here 0 plus 0 minus 12 it is minus 12. Again here 1 plus 1 it is 2 minus 6 it is minus 4. Likewise, you can find different values. Now, let us consider the properties of first order derivative and second order derivative and let us trace these values from left to right. First, we note that the first order derivative is non-zero along the entire ramp. So, on this profile we have defined different uh, shapes which is ramp, which is isolated point or noise, flat lines are known as flat segment and this is known as step. So, in the first order derivative along the ramp it is non-zero which satisfies the properties of first order derivative. The second order derivative is non-zero at onset and at the end of the ramp. So, this is the onset, onset means the starting point of the value and offset is the end point of the value. So, the second order derivative is non-zero at the onset of the ramp and also at the end of the ramp which satisfies the property of second order derivative. So, from these two analysis we can conclude that the first order derivative produces thick edges and the second order derivative produces much finer one or much finer edges. So, if you see the isolation point here the response is much stronger for second order derivative than the first order derivative. Hence, we can say the second order derivative enhances the fine detail including the noise in an image compared to the first order derivative. If we consider the gray level step the response of first order derivative and second order derivative are same. So, in conclusion we can say that the first order derivative generally produces a thicker edges in an image. The second order derivative has strong response to finite details 
such as thin lines and isolated points in an image. The first order derivative generally has a stronger response to gray level step. The second order derivative produces a double response at the step change in the gray level. So, if you see here, the step change is happening here. So, it will produce a double response. So, for first order derivative it is minus 6, second order derivative it is producing minus 12. Again here at the step change, the first order derivative is producing minus 2 and the second order derivative is producing minus 4. These are the few conclusions. We will continue this topic in our next lecture. Hope you have understood this topic. Thank you.